Hi everyone, my name is Billy from Piano and Pies and this is the guitar tutorial for Gossip by Mainskin. Let's get stuck in. So there is a guitar riff and what we do, we start on the A string and we play two open strings and then go up to fret three. Then we go to the D string with fret two before we go back to the A string with three two. So we have, we'll do that one more time. Then we go to the E string, which I should have mentioned earlier, is in drop D. So if you're in normal uh, standard tuning, that won't do unfortunately, you will have to get this to a D string, which should sound like this. And when we get to that string, we have to play zero, zero, three, so similar to the A string. Then an open A string, back to the three on the D string now, that dropped D string, and then a two. So we have this new part, Putting that with the first part, it sounds like this. Slowly, it goes like this. We then jump up on our new drop D string to fret six, and we play that twice. Then we have to move up to the A string to fret two, D string, three, two, and then back to fret three on the A string. So slowly, six, six, two, three, two, three. So putting that with the first two parts. And the final part is on the A string. Which is zero, zero, three, two. Now that guitar riff is going to loop round quite a few times. Um, on the screen I've wrote how many times because I've forgotten off the top of my head. Moving on to the next part. So we then get to a pre-chorus and chorus which have some stabs in it. Now um, there's a few ways to play it but basically we've got some single notes where you can play the open A string, then up to fret five, then fret two, and then you go back to the open A string and play that four times. So just to go over that again, you'd have one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That leads into the actual chorus. So starting with the chorus, we have more of an A power chord. Um, it's probably best to do it as a drop D power chord. So we're gonna have seven, seven, seven. So we've got Now that there is a D minor um, power chord, but also I'm adding in the third, so I'm making it more of a bar chord. If you want to do just power chord, that's fine. But getting in that note there, I'm pretty sure I can hear that on the track, so we've got. So putting that with the first chord, we have. Then we go down to fret two, which is just another power chord. And then we go back to. And then there's a little descend, which is 10, nine. So altogether we have. And that loops around two times. Just before we move on to the next part of the song, I just wanna say thank you to the people on the screen. Those are my patrons and uh, they support me every month. If you find my stuff useful and you wanna show your support, head on over to Patreon. There's a link in the description. However, on with the track. At the end of the chorus, there's kind of a quieter part. You can see the, the drummer goes to just like a bass drum pedal and the guitar kind of goes a little bit quieter. It's the same type of chord. So we've got the... And then it goes down to fret three and then to fret two. So you've got... And then it stabs on the fret seven. So 
So we then get to the guitar solo, and that's uh, featuring Tom Morello, who's an amazing guitar player. Now, I'm gonna hold my hands up and say that I am not anything like Tom Morello, and um, I'm gonna show you the notes that I've worked out. However, for the exact technique, I actually recommend that you try and find someone else for this part of the track, because I'm not 100% sure on it, it's not my speciality, but I can show you the notes for it. But the exact phrasing, it's probably best that you uh, look for someone else on that one. So, what we have is, so we have fret 14 on the G string, 13 on the B string, 15, sorry, 17 on the B string. And there's a bit of a sliding going on. I don't know if that's a, some sort of uh, technique he's putting into his actual, I know he likes to play around with the um, the jack input on the strings, but um, it's kind of like a slide in, into it. But again, that's where you can do a bit of research onto it. Then, we have three notes that stay on the B string, 15, 14, sorry, 13, and then 12. So we have... The next part is back on the G string, 13, 12 on the B string, 15 on the B string, followed by, which is 13 on the B string, 12 on the B, and then 10 on the B. So altogether we get this. You then repeat the first two parts again. But then we go to a new part. And that last part is 12 on the B string, 13, 15, back to 12, and then 14 on the G string. And then that is the end of the guitar solo leading into the next verse. At that part in the song, everything starts to repeat. So we go back to that main guitar riff when the second verse comes in. The only difference is when they start the song, uh, start the second verse, instead of playing that first riff, they just stab the first note, the open air. And then after that, it goes to the second guitar riff, which is exactly the same. And then everything loops around. So literally, you'll hear it at the start of the second verse, just hit that A note the open air, and then carry everything on as normal. It then goes to the pre-chorus and chorus, exactly the same as what we did earlier. So jobs are good. So after that, there is a big improvised guitar solo by Tom Morello. Um, I'm not gonna go into it on this video. However, after that, it goes to a chorus, which is just the same chords as you played in the previous chorus. You just kind of give it more strumming, really. and so on. So you just kind of full on strumming, you loop that around a couple of times and then it just stops. That's the end of the song. Nice, short and sweet. So there we go, that is Gossip by Mainskin. Now, if you uh, thought that was useful, head on over to uh, Patreon and you can show your support that way. Or if you don't want to do that, just like and subscribe. That would be uh, fantastic. I'm getting very close to a thousand subscribers. Hopefully I'll get there soon. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.